You got to shoot your shot. Or as Todd V says, you got to make the relationship go from man to woman because a lot of you guys don't use O. You don't shoot your shot. And that's why you guys are getting friend zone. So go back to boy. Why they calling me a devil? I guess everybody got a demon. Yerb, and welcome back to part four of Lessons I Wish My Big Brother Taught Me About Women. I am your host, Hafiz. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. Rule number one, don't forget, guys, this is my personal experience, not a generalization of all women. Rule number two, don't forget, this is Women 101. This is just the basics, guys. It's a short videos for a reason and rule number three guys let's get these subscriptions up hit the subscribe button and the bell so you guys can continue to get great content from us so i'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds hit the subscribe button and the bell now and now without further ado we are at part four meeting and attracting women so traditionally speaking, there are three major ways I've noticed that guys meet and attract women. The first way is through being a high value male, which we talked about in part two. The second way is through game, which is a typical, you know, the, that book by Neil Strauss, mystery methods, stuff like that, using strategies to project yourself as high value to kind of trick the woman. And the third one is the formula that I created called PTO. And that's what we're going to be dis discussing today, that PTO. So what does PTO stand for? So the P stands for put. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not what it stands for. So the P stands for proximity. The T stands for time. And the O stands for opportunity. So let's go ahead and break that down. So let's imagine I told you guys that you had to make the game-winning shot at a basketball game. So if I told you guys that that shot was a layup, how confident would you be to make that shot? What if I told you that shot was a free throw? What about a three-point shot? What about a half court shot? What about a full court shot? So obviously, as you see, the closer you are to the rim, you know, the more proximity you have to the rim, the more confident and more likely that shot is going to go in. And this is the very same thing about women. The more proximity you have to women, the closer you are to her to have deep, genuine conversation, the more likely you can be able to build an authentic relationship. For example, if you're in college and you guys are working on a project together, that's basically an alley-oop. If you're working at a popular gym and she works out there consistently, that's a layup. If you live in the same apartment complex and you guys cross paths walking your dogs occasionally, that's a free throw. If you meet at a party of a friend of a friend, that's a three-point shot. If you see her walking by herself at the mall, that's a half-court shot. And if you see her driving down the road, you, you pull over your car to stop and talk to her, that's a full-court shot. And what I realized is that there's four major dating hurdles, right? The first one, in my opinion, is being the right person. The second one is meeting the right person. The third one is attracting the right person. And the fourth one is building a relationship with the right person. And so we already talked about the first one in part two, but the second one is meeting the right person. So if you really break down where do most people meet their significant other, it's five major places. The first one is school. Second one is going to be work. The third one is going to be through mutual friends. The fourth one is going to be through church and um, organizations. The fifth one is going to be online dating, which we'll talk about in a later video. And what you notice, guys, is the top four is all based upon proximity and being close to this woman. So that's why a lot of you guys are struggling because you guys have no proximity to these girls that you're obsessed with. And if proximity is king, then the next one, which is time, has to be queen. So going back to the basketball illustration, right? So if I told you you had to make a half-court shot, but you only had one second to take as many shots as you could, how confident would you be to make your shot? What if I said you had 10 seconds to take unlimited shots? What about I told you you had an hour to take unlimited shots? What about 10 hours to take unlimited shots, right? The more time you have to take your shot, the more likely that shot to be able to go in. And that's the same exact thing with women, guys. The more time you have with this girl, the more likely you are to build a genuine relationship. Like if I'm working at a gym and I see a really attractive girl and I never see her again, it's going to be really hard for me to shoot my shot at that moment and be successful. But if I was working at a gym and this girl works out there every single day, guess what? Not only do I have proximity to this girl, I also have a lot of time with this girl to continue to talk to her, get to know her, and build a genuine relationship. And that's why a lot of you guys suck at cold approach. Cold approach is too difficult. You literally have 10 seconds to meet a random chick to get her genuinely interested in you to talk to you. That's not enough. And unfortunately, a lot of you guys aren't Derek Fisher, right? You ain't hitting a shot in 0.4 seconds, and you guys need time to be successful. 
You see what proximity and time create is familiarity and rapport. And that is literally the fertile soil of building healthy attraction for women. And you see what happens is that when a girl is familiar with you and she has rapport with you, she's able to let her guard down, be able to be comfortable with you. And that is so important. If a lot of you guys are honest with yourselves, you know that your strength isn't in your looks, right? Your strength isn't in your money. So for you just to meet some random girl and to talk to her, it's not going to be successful. Successful, right? That resume is not good enough to get you the interview. But if you're able to go straight to the interview, right? If she's already familiar with you, if you if you have time to talk to her and get to know her, a lot of you guys can be really, really successful with women. So that proximity and that time creates that really, really impactful combination to build genuine attraction with these women. And the last part is the O, which is the most pivotal part, which is opportunity. You got to shoot your shot, or as Todd V says, you got to make the relationship go from man to woman because a lot of you guys don't use O, you don't shoot your shot, and that's why you guys are getting friend zone. So going back to the basketball illustration, so let's say you had an opportunity to hit the game-winning shot, and you're wide open by yourself to be able to hit a layup, but you never take the shot. Guess what happens? You're going to lose. You're going to have 24 seconds on the clock. You're going to have all day. But if you don't take your shot, there's no way you can be successful and make it in. And that's why going back to part two, leveling up and build your confidence is so important. A lot of you guys don't have the confidence to take your shot, confidence to ask her out, confidence to make it man to woman. So going back to the guy at the gym, this guy works at a gym, so he has great proximity to the girls. He works out there every single day. And so not only does he have proximity, but he has time, but he never shoots his shot. All he does is say, Hi, and occasional small talk. He never asks her out. He never makes a man to woman. All he does is be cool and platonic. And guess what? He will never be successful. Proximity, time, and opportunity is a formula for success. To further bring my point, the New York Times did a fantastic article describing why it's so difficult for people over 30 to make friends. And one of the scholars in the article said that the reason why it's so difficult is because to make friends requires three major things. The first thing is proximity. Hmm, great minds think alike. The second one is repeated unplanned interactions. What does that sound like, guys? time and and the last one is setting that encourages people to let their guard down and confide in each other that's all opportunity you see the reason why i did this video and wanted to bring this up to you is that a lot of you guys are struggling with women today because you don't have any pto because a lot of the modern women aren't out like they used to most people today are staying at home obviously we have this you know this situation going on but even before that most women stay at home they rather netflix and go out they rather hang out with their friends on saturday and drink mimosas and go to baby showers on sunday so they're not really going out and not really being involved so a lot of you guys don't have the proximity time and opportunity if you guys remember if you went to high school went to college that was the perfect time for meeting women and now we don't have those opportunities anymore so because most of you guys are going to lack the pto for the women that you desire we're going to have to move towards online dating and that's what we're going to talk about in the next video so guys make sure that you watch the next week's video where i break down online dating and this is something that all you guys have to understand because online dating is not built for men to be successful, and I will show you in the next video how every guy can be successful. So don't forget, guys, remember PTO, proximity, time, and opportunity. With a lot of women, the way you win is by creating that rapport, being familiar with her, which is proximity and time. So my challenge to you is that think about the kind of woman that you want. How does she look like? How does she behave? And where can you be able to get that proximity and time to those women? Be strategic about that. And that's that's how a lot of you guys can be successful, and that's how I became successful later on in life. And don't forget, guys, you can have all the proximity and time, but you got to take your shot. So look forward to seeing you guys next week when we talk about online dating, how you guys can kill online dating and attract the woman that you guys desire, and I'll be blessings to your life. My name is Afiz. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, 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 and I'll see you guys next week, Saturday at 9 a.m. for my masterpiece on online dating.